Hello dear OBC family, I hope you're all doing well. Uh, yeah, wishing you every blessing for 2021. And uh, yeah, it's a joy to be able to share with you and I pray that what I share is an encouragement to you. So I've been thinking a lot about what it means to be children of God and how we learn as children of God. Um, so I'd like to read from Romans chapter 8 verses 14 to 16 and this is from the, pa the Passion Translation. It reads, The mature children of God are those who are moved by the impulses of the Holy Spirit. And you did not receive the spirit of religious duty, leading you back into the fear of never being good enough, but you have received the spirit of full acceptance, enfolding you into the family of God, and you will never feel orphaned. For as he rises up within us, our spirits join him in saying the words of tender affection, Beloved Father, for the Holy Spirit makes God's fatherhood real to us as he whispers into our innermost being, you are God's beloved child. Being a child of God means that we are fully loved and fully accepted, that we're not working for those things, but living our life from that place of being fully loved and fully accepted. You know, that uh, particular translation stood out to me because it talks about, you know, just the fear of never being good enough, like that God did not give us the spirit uh, of, of fear of never being good enough. And it resonated with me because I have spent too much of my Christian life not feeling good enough. Um, and I guess I, I can recall so many times where I was reading the word of God and feeling like, ah, my faith doesn't match up to the kind of faith that I'm reading about or just like I would read a passage and I'm like that sounds really good but I haven't really experienced that and just and then I would feel like oh God must be really disappointed in me because I'm not my my faith doesn't match um it's not living up to to his word and we know that Satan is the accuser of the brethren and that he loves to make us not feel good enough and try to just kind of disrupt the relationship that we have with God. But we know that that's not true. We know that it's lies and we cannot let those lies sink in. We are fully loved by him and fully accepted. And um, I guess I was thinking about 2020 and the things that God has been teaching me and uh, what it means that when we're fully loved and fully accepted by God and we read something in the word that we think okay that's good but I'm not experiencing it we can come before God with full confidence not shrinking back going hey this is what your word says and I want to live it and experience it but right now I'm not can you help me um, I was reminded of just this picture of uh, of a father playing catch with his child. So when a father plays catch with his child for the first time, like he's throwing the ball, uh, he's not gonna like fire the ball at the child, but he stands real close to the child, will give loads of encouragement and eye contact, tell the child he can do it and instruct the, ha the child, just hold your hands out. And as the child stands there holding his hands out, the father throws the ball softly and gently aiming right for the child's hands so that the child can catch the ball. He's setting the child up to win. And you know what? Even if the child drops the ball, father will pick up the ball, it's okay, and try again until the child catches the ball. And that picture really stu stuck with me when thinking about passages of scripture that we're really wanting to learn and apply. And we go before God going, can you teach us this? And he's not standing over us going, what, you don't know this already? But he's standing over us going, yes, I will teach you. I want you to learn this. And he sets us up for a win. Um, there's been some passages of scripture that I've kind of brought to the Lord in 2020. And uh, he has taught me he has taught me those verses and given me experiences of those verses. And it's like he's been with me every step of the, work, of the way, setting me up for a win, you know, so that I could not, could not fail. 
And I share this with you to be an encouragement and just say if there's passages of scripture that you read and you think that sounds really nice but it's not my reality, you can go before the Father and ask him to teach you and he will because that's what he wants for you. He wants his children to be living in the reality of his word um, and he, he loves to teach us that. So let me just finish uh, in prayer. Father, we thank you that you are so good, that you are so kind, that you long to teach us and instruct us in, in your ways and that as you teach us, we know that we are fully loved and fully accepted by you already. Father, I pray that in 2021, you would be teaching us new things, that you would move us deeper in our faith and that we would know what it is to live as children of the living God. Amen.